A cold gas thruster or a cold gas propulsion system is a type of rocket engine which uses the expansion of a typically inert pressurized gas to generate thrust. As opposed to traditional rocket engines, a cold gas thruster does not house any combustion and therefore has lower thrust and efficiency compared to conventional monopropellant and bipropellant rocket engines. Cold gas thrusters have been referred to as the simplest manifestation of a rocket engine. Because their design consists only of a fuel tank, a regulating valve, a propelling nozzle, and the little required plumbing. They are the cheapest, simplest, and most reliable propulsion systems available for orbital maintenance, maneuvering, and attitude control. Cold gas thrusters are predominantly used to provide stabilization for smaller space missions which require contaminant free operation. Specifically, CubeSat propulsion system development has been the predominantly focused on cold gas systems because CubeSats have strict regulations against pyrotechnics and hazardous materials. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design. The nozzle of a cold gas thruster is generally a convergent divergent nozzle that provides the required thrust in flight. The nozzle is shaped such that the high pressure, low velocity gas that enters the nozzle is compressed as it approaches the throat, the narrowest part of the nozzle, where the gas velocity matches the speed of sound. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Performance. Cold gas thrusters benefit from their simplicity. However, they do fall short in other respects. The following list summarizes the advantages and disadvantages of a cold gas system. Topic: Advantages. A lack of combustion in the nozzle of a cold gas thruster allows its usage in situations where regular liquid rocket engines would be too hot. This eliminates the need to engineer heat management systems. The simple design allows the thrusters to be smaller than regular rocket engines, which makes them a suitable choice for missions with limited volume and weight requirements. The cold gas system and its fuel are inexpensive compared to regular rocket engines. The simple design is less prone to failures than a traditional rocket engine. The fuels used in a cold gas system are safe to handle both before and after firing the engine. If inert fuel is used the cold gas system is one of the safest possible rocket engines. Cold gas thrusters do not build up a net charge on the spacecraft during operation. Cold gas thrusters require very little electrical energy to operate, which is useful, for example, when a spacecraft is in the shadow of the planet it is orbiting. Topic. Disadvantages. A cold gas system cannot produce the high thrust that combustive rocket engines can achieve. Cold gas thrusters are less mass efficient than traditional rocket engines. The maximum thrust of a cold gas thruster is dependent upon the pressure in the storage tank. As fuel is used up, the pressure decreases and maximum thrust decreases. Topic. Thrust. Thrust is generated by momentum exchange between the exhaust and the spacecraft, which is given by Newton's second law as F equals M V E. Display style F equals dot M V underscore E, where M display style dot M is the mass flow rate and V. E display style v underscore e is the velocity of the exhaust. In the case of a cold gas thruster in space, where the thrusters are designed for infinite expansion, since the ambient pressure is zero, the thrust is given as f equals a t p c gamma two gamma minus 1 2 
gamma plus 1 1 minus p e p c plus p e a e Display style f equals or underscore t p underscore c gamma left left frac two gamma minus one right left frac two gamma plus one right left one frac p underscore e p underscore c right right plus p underscore e a underscore e where a t display style or underscore t is the area of the throat p C display style p underscore c is the chamber pressure in the nozzle. Gamma display style gamma is the specific heat ratio. P e display style p underscore e is the exit pressure of the propellant and a e display style underscore e is the exit area of the nozzle. Topic: Specific impulse. The specific impulse (ISP) of a rocket engine is the most important metric of efficiency. A high specific impulse is normally desired. Cold gas thrusters have a significantly lower specific impulse than most other rocket engines because they do not take advantage of chemical energy stored in the propellant. The theoretical specific impulse for cold gases is given by I S P equals C G 0 gamma 2 gamma minus 1 2 gamma plus 1 gamma plus 1 gamma minus 1 1 minus p e p c gamma minus 1 gamma display style i underscore sp equals frac c caret asterisk g underscore 0 gamma sqrt left frac 2 gamma minus 1 right left f rac 2 gamma plus 1 right caret frac gamma plus 1 gamma minus 1 left 1 frac p underscore e p underscore c right caret frac gamma minus 1 gamma where G zero display style G underscore zero is standard gravity and C display style C carrot asterisk is the characteristic velocity which is given by C equals a zero gamma two gamma plus one gamma plus one two gamma minus one Display style c carrot asterisk equals frac a underscore zero gamma left frac two gamma plus one right carrot frac gamma plus one two gamma minus one where a zero Display style or underscore zero is the sonic velocity of the propellant. Topic: Propellants. Cold gas systems can use either a solid, liquid, or gaseous propellant storage system, but the propellant needs to exit the nozzle in gaseous form. Storing liquid propellant may pose attitude control issues due to the sloshing of fuel in its tank. When deciding which propellant to use, a high specific impulse and a high specific impulse per unit volume of propellant must be considered. 
The following table provides an overview of the specific impulses of the different propellants that can be used in a cold gas propulsion system. Topic: Applications. Topic: Human propulsion. Cold gas thrusters are especially well suited for astronaut propulsion units due to the inert and non-toxic nature of their propellants. Topic: Handheld maneuvering unit. Main article: Handheld maneuvering unit. The handheld maneuvering unit HHMU used on the Gemini 4 and 10 missions used pressurized oxygen to facilitate the astronauts' extravehicular activities. Although the patent of the HHMU does not categorize the device as a cold gas thruster, the HHMU is described as a propulsion unit utilizing the thrust developed by a pressurized gas escaping various nozzle means. Topic. Manned maneuvering unit Main article, manned maneuvering unit 24 cold gas thrusters utilizing pressurized gaseous nitrogen were used on the manned maneuvering unit MMU. The thrusters provided full six degree of freedom control to the astronaut wearing the MMU. Each thruster provided 1.4 pounds of thrust. The two propellant tanks on board provided a total of 40 pounds 18 kilograms of gaseous nitrogen at 4,500 psi, which provided sufficient propellant to generate a change in velocity of 110 to 135 feet, sec 33.53 to 41.15 meters per second. At a nominal mass, the MMU had a translational acceleration of 0.3 plus or minus 0.05 feet sec 2, 9.1 plus or minus 1.5 centimeters per square second, and a rotational acceleration of 10.0 plus or minus 3.0 deg sec 2, 0.1745 plus or minus 0.052 rad sec 2. Topic. Vernier engines Main article, Vernier engines Larger cold gas thrusters are employed to help in the attitude control of the first stage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as it returns to land. Topic. Automotive In a tweet in June 2018, Elon Musk proposed the use of air-based cold gas thrusters to improve car performance. In September 2018, Bosch successfully tested its proof of concept safety system for writing a slipping motorcycle using cold gas thrusters. The system senses a sideways wheel slip and uses a lateral cold gas thruster to keep the motorcycle from slipping further. Topic. Current research The main focus of current research is miniaturization of cold gas thrusters using microelectromechanical systems. Topic. See also Resistorjet rocket Monopropellant rocket CubeSat